Hi, good afternoon, Makoy. Hi po. Yeah, uh, so welcome to Project Night Philippines. So, you are presenting Eastern Samar, right? Yes po. Okay, uh, could you please introduce yourself further? Hi, I am Makli Dian Glamour and I am a candidate of the King of the World Philippines and I am representing the province of Eastern Samar. Alright, Makoy. So, uh, you are one of the most noticed um, oh. candidates yes, from yesterday's press presentation. How do you feel about that? You know, it's been an honor to be noticed by the, especially by the media press and knowing that this is my first national pageant, I am nervous and scared to be a part of this event but also I am looking forward to it and I am super excited about the journey that we are going to go through. Mm. And yeah, just so you know that um, you were, it wasn't actually only the media who noticed you yesterday but even on the social media as well, you yeah. were actually noticed and applauded. And um, first, I believe something this could actually help you as well. And what's your message about that? And yeah, this year I think I'm I'll be focusing more on my career. You know, this is my, as I said, this is my first national pageant, and I'm really looking forward for the opportunities that will be given to me after this event. And yun, so it's been such an honor, really, that I have been noticed by some of the media press. And press. And the social media. Yes, actually. and the social media people as well. Okay, and what you mentioned about the pageantry, that this is being the first, uh, this is your first national pageant. Um, does this mean also to say that um, you've been joining pageantry even before this, Mr. Uh, I mean, King of the World Philippines? Yes, I've been joining pageants before I joined this. I've been on regional and provincial pageants already, and yun. I think this is a you know, a time for me to step up my game, uh, so that's why I joined the national pageantry, which is the King of the World Philippines. And stepping up your game is via King of the via King of the, the world, world Philippines. Philippines. Well. So, why did you choose to to be the first pageant you would like to join us uh, to join us? Your, I mean, as you're launching in the national. You know, I wasn't really looking forward to join a national pageant yet. But pero nandun yung sa plan ko since but since Mother Onan has given me this opportunity and also this is a new pageant in the Philippines and people are really looking forward to it so that's why I decided to join. Oh, that's so much trust in the in the organization. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So um, what would you like to offer as well to the um, table of the world Philippines having well having thirty eight competitors of well, in the, in the, for the title, I mean. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of us here. 40, I think, to be exact. So be, that's, yeah. yeah, 40 or 30 plus. So that's why, I mean, I am I am prepared to do my best. And I think I have brought the best versions of myself. And to be part of this event is such really an honor. And yun, I'm just hoping to do my best. And just praying and hoping that, you know, all things go, goes to plan. I heard some of your... Um, of your brothers are promoting their advocacies. Do you also have a kind of um, advocacy? Yes, I do have an advocacy. As a Ginoong Silangang Turismo 2023 first runner-up, one of my advocacy is to um to for I mean for environmental care and protection. You see, I realize that the nature that surrounds us is not only our home but everything that keeps us alive. And I think it is important for us to realize that we should take care and to preserve it, not just for this generation, but also for the next generation to come. Okay, and what do you think is the relevance of King of the World Philippines in the pageant? You know, King of the World Philippines gives us a platform not just to share our advocacies, but also to influence other people. And I think this is a huge you know, help for us to be able to touch other people's life and to influence it in a positive way. So, uh, thank you so much, McCloy. I'm looking forward. I'm, McCloy, right? Yeah. I'm looking forward to see you on your um, journey. God bless you always. And what do you have today, by the way? What, pa? What do you have today? Um, we have a talent competition, po, but sadly, I wouldn't be able to uh, no, showcase my talent because uh, I think I'm not that uh, no, talented enough. <laughs> 
to be a part of this activity and I ano, I believe naman that there are some people here, my fellow candidates who are more deserving to win the ano. Speaking of that, <laughs> you mentioned that um, you're not really that talented yeah. much. So, um, what do you think is your edge? Well, you know, I mean, I can do such things, man. I can sing, I can dance, but in terms of being on a higher level, I don't think I'm not that good capable. For competition. Yeah, not good for competition. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, pero, yun, eh, sa kanila na, <laughs> yung award. So, it's <laughs> uh, <laughs> <I think laughs> All right, so thank you so much, um, Matloy, and looking forward to your journey at the Ateneo of the World Games, and um, good luck. So thank you so much. Thank you for gracing um, Pageant Life for uh, Thank you, Paul.